This video highlights the changes we have made to Mover Suite at version 2017-R18. A new option is available to you through the right-click menu within the Dispatch Center. When you select multiple services for the same order and for the same day, you can choose the Combine on Work Ticket option. The application automatically assigns the services to a single ticket number. It does not, however, open the Report Viewer to view the Work Ticket report. You can, at any time, press the Work Ticket button for any of the combined services to view the full Combined Work Ticket report. Alternatively, you can combine services without using the Combine on Work Ticket option and view the report immediately. You do this by selecting one or more services and pressing Work Ticket. The application combines all the services for the same day and for the same order into a single Work Ticket. You can select as many services for any number of orders as you like. The application automatically combines all services for the same day and same service and opens the viewer to display all work tickets. Mover Suite now provides a work ticket report specific to office and industrial moves. The work ticket ONI report is available with this release to assign to your user report profiles. This report displays similar data as that of the standard work ticket report, but with a few differences. The full branch address displays along with the phone number. Locations assigned as origin and destination locations within the Contacts and Location tab appear on the report. And the crew listing is on its own separate page. The grid provides a couple of additional columns and provides a little more room to fill in actual crew times. Administrators can view the properties of the report through Report Setup and assign it to personnel through Report Profile Setup. Related to the new report is the ability to assign multiple work ticket reports to personnel. So, if a person's report profile contains more than one report with the system location of Work Ticket Report, then each report displays as an option when Work Ticket is pressed. In this example, we have three Work Ticket Reports assigned to our profile. In Mover Suite, when we press Work Ticket, each report displays in a menu. Two custom sort fields are now available through the Dispatch Center data grid within Local Dispatch. The Sort 1 and Sort 2 fields allow you to enter any text you like up to 16 characters in each field. You can simply click in either field and type your entry. You can also utilize the copy and paste functions as well. For instance, you can select an entry from one sort field using the Ctrl plus C keyboard combination and paste it into a different sort field using the Ctrl plus V keyboard entry. You can copy from applications outside of Mover Suite as well and paste the text into either sort field. We anticipate you using these fields to add an additional filter to the grid to assist you in streamlining your process. Options available to these columns include the ability to sort the data by clicking on the column header. You can add an additional sort by holding down the Shift key and clicking on the other sort field. You can also group this data. Filtering is available and you can take advantage of other data grid functionality as well. The data you enter is only available within this grid, but is included when you export the data. A new option added to Building Setup allows you to customize building constraints for each building record. The list of items available here are those defined within the Building Constraints Setup. Adding an entry here allows you to set specifics for the constraint that are unique to the building record. For example, if you know that the building has three elevators, you can override the default elevator constraint with properties needed for this particular building. You can check the Yes flag and enter in specifics on which elevator to use at the site. When viewing this information from within the Job Information tab, you can see that all defined constraints show for each building. And, the constraint added through Building Setup lists the specifics entered for the elevator item. The building constraints are now available as letter management bookmarks. 
the information that displays for a location within the Building Constraints section of the Job Information tab can display on your documents and emails. When adding bookmarks, you have access to three bookmarks that reference each of the three available location types within the Office and Industrial module. They include Destination, Origin, and other locations in each list under the Office and Industrial group when inserting bookmarks. When documents generate that reference these new bookmarks, the application inserts the information as a table. Each component of the constraint displays in its own labeled section. You can modify the table to some degree by adjusting the column width, font style, and more. The destination and origin bookmarks correspond to the locations that are marked as such within the Contacts and Location tab. The other bookmark displays all other locations. For example, if you have three other locations on your ONI order, then three separate tables display within the generated document. Eight new bookmarks are available to you. From the Move Information tab, you can add bookmarks for the estimated weight, miles, discounted line haul, and type of move. On the Agents tab, Survey Date and the Survey Start and End Times are available to you. From the Billing Information tab, you now have bookmarks for the purchase order and estimated amount. All the new bookmarks list under the Order Information group when inserting bookmarks through the Letter Management System. Order History now records changes made to six additional fields. On the Military Government tab, the gross and net weights associated to the original and reweight values are recorded in Order History. Within the SIT information, the actual outdate for the destination and origin locations are now included in the fields tracked within the Order History system. Available to Unigroup International Orders through the International Orders module is the option to sync the data between Mover Suite and Unigroup. Although data exchanges occur automatically between Mover Suite and Unigroup for international orders, if an order is in flight or in transit, and the link between the two systems is not fully established, then you can select the Unigroup International Download option from the Tools menu. This option instructs the application to retrieve all order data from Unigroup and update similar data on the Mover Suite side. It also verifies that the two systems are linked and that the order is properly registered. Additional changes have been made to this release, so please refer to the online help at version 2017 R18 for more information. Thank you.